Greetings, got a blurb video for you here. Just a little wood package. Yeah, let's open it up. Okay. We got a little stand here. And uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Would you look at that? So this is obviously an Oregon Trail wooden floppy disk decoration. Uh, not even sure what you want to call it, but I just thought it was neat. Yeah, I was looking around on eBay the other week, uh, actually looking for a copy of Oregon Trail Deluxe for the IBM PC, because I realized, hey, what in the world? I don't have that one. And I ran across this as well, and I was I was very much intrigued because uh, it's wood. <laughs> and you know, seems like a fun decorative item to me, so I bought one. Here it is. I think it was thirty-two dollars. Comes from a, a company or someone doing business as Turtle Labs. Didn't actually realize until after already like ordering it and it arrived in a day. Uh, <laughs> they're a local company in Marion, North Carolina. It's only about an hour from me, so. I, I didn't know that. I just saw the listing and it was cool. So anyway, that's neat. Uh, so yeah, we got some different artwork. Uh, screenshots really just sort of plastered around randomly. This looks pretty darn cool. And um, yeah, this is the cherry version of it. And there's also uh, one that they have in maple, which would be a, a much lighter tone. I was drawn to the cherry because eh, a bit of a darker wood. And I like the contrast going on between uh, like the label, so to speak, and all of the etchings that are in there. This has gotta be like laser cut, right? Laser etched. Anyway, this is what made me stumble across it. I was looking for this, and I got, uh, I got a copy. I was like, oh, cool, yay, finally. This is uh, the first version of the Oregon Trail that I believe I ever played. Pretty sure it was this one. Not for DOS, it was on a Mac, but, uh, yeah, I typically collect the DOS versions of these things. But I was just noticing on the label there, you see it says HMS 306, 1988. Yeah, I was kind of curious that they chose that one instead of the original Oregon Trail for the Apple II. See, this one right here is HMS 900, which makes sense, it's a much later one. Um, there's also this one here, this is a, uh, I think the 1990 version of the Oregon Trail IBM PC, but uh, check it out. There's that number again, HMS 306, which is uh, the same one that they've kind of chosen here, even though this one actually it says 98, uh, sorry, 88. <laughs> so I think what they've actually gone with is uh, a slightly earlier version of this one, because if you see, whoops, you see these discs. They have this type of labeling. Yeah, this is like the 1990 version 2.1, 306-5. So I think just regular 306 was the 1988 Apple II and MS-DOS version, often called Oregon Trail 2.0. It's just sort of one of those things I noticed. I was like, well, which label did they choose? I can see why they chose this one. It's, it's a very plain label, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, the, the 1985 Apple II version, which is another number. Uh, yeah. Eh. You can go with all kinds of different labels. There were so many releases of Oregon Trail. They did at least pick a, a nice selection of screenshots here. We got Independence, Missouri, like the starting city right there, a little town you begin in. You have Matt's General Store showing some of the things that you buy. Of course, you gotta have, uh, you have dysentery. Didn't die from it though. Maybe that's on the back. No, no death from dysentery. You just, you just have it. <laughs> There's a bit of the hunting mini game right there with some other graphics of just, yeah, getting the forts and you know, just a little, it's a nice little selection. And another reason I picked this up um, or was just drawn to it was because, I don't know if you've uh, seen these before, but Oregon Trail and Wood kind of have a history. Let me get these out. So 
these limited editions for the Oregon Trail 3rd edition and Oregon Trail 2 25th anniversary each came in a wooden box. Yeah, look at that. Mm, still smells like pine. Yeah. yeah, pretty neat, right? So these are things that exist. So it's not entirely without merit uh, making a, uh, <laughs> a wooden floppy disk. I've always liked this one a little bit better. Yeah, the artwork and everything. It slides off this way instead of the other way. Yeah, gosh, this is so cool. Some of the only uh, PC games that have genuinely given me multiple splinters. <laughs> this one, I've had to sand it down just a little bit because when I got it, man, it gave me a splinter immediately. I, and I got one again uh, from this one as I was bringing it over here to film this. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of these versions of Oregon Trail. This one's, you know, I'm really more drawn to the OG Oregon Trail and uh, Oregon Trail Deluxe, as I think a lot of people are. Anyway, so yeah, yeah. So I just yeah, thought it'd be nice to put this on the shelf next to my wooden Oregon Trail boxes. Yeah, I guess, I guess those sides come off, right? There's gotta be like a clear, Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice little acrylic laser cut. Yeah. All right, well, uh, let me just get this on the shelf real quick. And that, that's all this video is. I just thought this was kind of neat, you know? That's what this channel's for. Stuff that's kind of neat and I uh, have some things to say about it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, I'm not, not affiliated with the folks who made this. I just saw it, thought it looked neat and would look neater up against the wooden Oregon Trail boxes that I have. I don't think they uh, do any other floppy disk wood designs yet, but maybe they will. Man, I, I would be interested. Or other computer components or any kind of retro designs, objects in wood. You can do all kinds of stuff with laser etching and things like that, right? Yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching this blurb.